already. So I wanted to show you guys the stuff I got at Goodwill today. And some of this is probably more for like the older folks. I didn't find a whole lot of toys. Although I did find one really cool find in the toy department. And that was this bag for $2.99 of just all kinds of Polly Pocket and other like small doll type stuff. I mean you can see there's just tons of stuff in here. There's lots of like shoes that look like they may fit like Kelly Barbie dolls or something rather than Polly Pockets and then there's tons of Polly Pocket stuff and tons of like Polly Pocket type clothes and stuff. So I'm excited to open this and see what's all all is in it. I was thinking maybe I'd open it in a separate video if I can keep myself from opening it until then. So let me know if you guys would like to see this open in a separate video and see what all is in it. And then let's see some other stuff I found at Goodwill today are these little animal uh, like magnets and they're actually kind of like rubbery plastic um, so they are kind of actually like toys they're kind of like the stuff that you would buy toy animals made out of but they're uh, actually magnets so I thought they were kind of cool I like the uh, this one's uh, the buffalo and then I got the I think this is the black bear I thought he was really cute and then I got this kind of creepy looking one that is uh, I guess like a deer head or something like that, but I thought he was really cool because he's creepy looking and again They're like made out of plastic so you can like bend everything and stuff. So that's pretty cool I did find a couple of books. This one's actually for my husband because he loves history stuff love and hate in Jamestown uh, John Smith Pocahontas and the start of a new nation. I thought he might like that and then for me I got this book called lovesick by Jake Coburn and uh, it looks like it's kind of about somebody who like messes up their life drunk driving and then um, like loses his scholarship um, starts having all kinds of problems and then some guy who's rich decides to fund him but only if the kid will spy on the rich guy's daughter but then the guy he accepts and he spies on her but then he falls in love with her which makes it kind of an issue that he's being paid to spy on her so I thought that sounded like kind of a cool book it's a young adult book and then I found a few uh, like clothing things that I thought were kind of cute there's this shirt which I like all the like sequiny type stuff up here but the main reason I actually wanted this is because like this at the bottom it has like two loose things that you can tie together into like a side knot and that reminds me so much of like when I was growing up in the 90s because that was so popular so that's probably the main reason I got that although I do like the design and the colors and stuff and then I am such a pajama junkie anything that's cute and comfy pajama wise I have to get so I got this shirt, which is uh, just kind of like a uh, flannel, or not flannel, it's more like a, a fleece shirt. And I thought it was cute, the pink with the gray and white hearts all over it. So that was very comfy. And then to go with that, I got these uh, pants that I thought were kind of cute, kind of uh, interesting designs anyway. I like interesting designs. Uh, if I don't have cartoon characters on my clothes, probably my next favorite thing would be interesting or weird designs or stuff like that. So that's the stuff I found at Goodwill today. Like I said, not a whole lot of toy stuff, but I do think the uh, toy thing I did find, which is the huge bag of Polly Pockets, is awesome, and I can't wait to go through that. So let me know what your favorite thing is. I'm sure all the kids that are watching, probably it'll be the Polly Pocket stuff, but let me know what you guys thought of everything I got. And I'll see you all later. So talk to you later. Bye.